This is part two and the conclusion to my first video. Okay, these people don't have the character to address or acknowledge this statement. However, if we are to be honest, we do not know what gravity is in any fundamental way. Okay, that's the truth. The indoctrination is what follows. We only know how it behaves. Or, right here at the bottom, what are the four facts about gravity? This is illogical. You cannot, you cannot have any facts about gravity. You cannot have how does it behave if you do not know what it is itself in any fundamental way. And when you reply or use for a rebuttal a gravimeter or cabin dash, I'm telling you right now that if even when I, one I owed of what you were saying were true, then it would negate. It would eliminate this statement. Okay? If anything you were saying about gravimeters, if you truly understand how they work and what's going on, or Cavendish, then you would never use them to explain this statement away. Because this statement exists. Okay? This is the truth. August 22nd, today. This is a current and present result of me typing in what don't we know about gravity. However, if we are to be honest, we do not know what gravity is in any fundamental way. Okay? And that takes into account your gravimeters and Cavendish. And they still got to say, however, if we are to be honest, we do not we do not know what gravity is in any fundamental way. Is that going over your head? Why do you ignore this? You have to suppress this in order to keep your belief in a religion. And that's what this is. It is a religion that requires a lot of faith. I would respect anyone that told me, well, I have faith in gravity. I know it can't be demonstrated. I know it's not tangible. I know it has no presence and substance that we can detect or produce or present, I would respect that because that is your right. You have a right to believe in what you want to believe, especially when it comes to faith. I can admit, like I did in the first video, that I cannot produce one iota of presence and substance of God. I cannot show you one scintilla of current field wave beam ray or particle of God. My belief in God is based on faith entirely. That's what faith is. Gravity is the result of massive supposition of gravimeters, Cavendish, rocks falling, water descending, and the ability for people to walk around on the outside surface of a giant spinning spherical water world space ball. If I could take that out of people's heads, if I had the ability or power to remove that data from your head, and then I read to you, however, if we are to be honest, we do not know what gravity is in any fundamental way, you would agree with it. You would agree with me when I told you this is because it's a theory. It has no directly detectable presence or substance, no current field, wave, beam, ray, or particle. You would agree with me. You only hold on to this belief because you truly, it is burned and tattooed in your brain that such a force or occurrence is required because we are on the outside surface of a giant spinning ball. Okay, you've been indoctrinated to believe this, systematically dumbed down to instantaneously believe everything you are told. We are taught to believe these people are hundreds of times more educated than we are. This is wrong, that is not learning. Hearing or reading something and instantaneously believing it, memorizing and regurgitating it is not it is not knowledge. 
Okay, you must understand what it is you're believing first. You people sit in front of these documentaries on space that are 100% animation, artist renderings and conceptions, and you instantaneously believe every word with no, no thought to verification whatsoever. Why would they lie? Not everyone's lying. When I told my brother that, do you know the earth is spinning a thousand miles an hour? I wasn't lying. I honestly believed it. I had no reason to think my teacher would lie to me. I trusted her. And when she learned the garbage she was telling me, she believed implicitly what her teachers told her. And her teachers believed the same stuff from the teachers they learned it from. Okay? This is how a vicious circle or cycle keeps going. You would never believe that there could be a force or occurrence that could do what they say gravity is doing, yet not know anything about it in any fundamental way. Imagine if I said that about electricity. I'm not going to go into that because I explained that all in my first video. <clears throat> For a person, place, or thing to be real, it must possess presence and substance. All right. This just astonishes me. Over and over I ask, please explain to me. I don't want to hear about gravimeters or cabin dash. Please explain to me why they are saying, however, if we are to be honest, we do not know what gravity is in any fundamental way. If your gravimeters are so relevant, if Cavendish is so esteemed, why and how can they say that they don't know what gravity is in any fundamental way? Have you realized that? You can't. You don't have the character to, to process it. If you tried, smoke would literally come out of your ears. You'd be over. We are being lied to. I know it. I know the truth. I know that electricity and magnetism are real. They have presence and substance of field and current. We've harnessed them. And gravity is not real, it has no presence and substance, no known means of propagation. And the truth is, however, if we are to be honest, we do not know what gravity is in any fundamental way. But you will try to tell me that gravity is pulling, holding, or curving over one quintillion tons of water, keeping it on the outside surface of a giant spinning ball. Are you effing crazy? How? How is it doing it? How does it interact, engage, or engulf that water? What presence and substance of form does it employ? We can't detect it. It's not real.